Hey guys, welcome to the 116th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to encrypt data. So in the previous tutorial, we looked at hashing. And the key difference between hashing and encrypting is you can't undo a hash, but you can decrypt something. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button to encrypt the data, um, a key, text box, uh, a text box to store the data that you want to encrypt and a text box that will show the data encrypted. So just go ahead and double click on your encrypt button. You're also going to need to be using the system.security.cryptography namespace because all the methods that we're going to be dealing with today are in there. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new instance of the triple DES crypto service provider. And triple DES is basically just a type of encryption. So I'm just going to type out here, triple DES crypto service provider. I'm just going to call it TDES and set it equal to a new um, triple DES crypto service provider. Now the first thing that we're going to have to set is the key. And the key is basically um, what it uses to encrypt with. So if we don't have the key, then we won't be able to decrypt it. And triple DES, there are only a handful of sizes of um, keys that you can use. And one valid size is 16 bytes long. And the length of an MD5 hash is also 16 bytes long. So we're basically just going to be getting the MD5 of uh, whatever key the user provides and then use the hash of the key uh, for the triple DES key. So we're just going to create a new MD5 crypto service provider. Let's call it MD5 and set it equal to a new MD5 crypto service provider. We're also going to have to create a new instance of the UTF-8 encoding class so we can convert the key into a byte array. So let's call it UTF-8 so it equal to a new instance of the UTF-8 encoding class. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to say md5.computehash and we're going to be computing the hash of the bytes that the UTF-8 encoding gets um, from our string, which is text box runs text. Alright, so this is just setting the key for our triple DES crypto service provider. And there are a couple more properties that we're going to have to be setting here. Um, the first one is going to be the mode, and we're just going to set this equal to cyclermode.ecb, and we're also going to have to set the padding equal to um, pkcs7. And if we don't set these two properties right here, then we won't be able to decrypt uh, the data, so make sure that you set these properties right here. And finally, we're going to have to create a new instance of the uh, cipher uh, we're, Finally, we're going to have to create a new instance of the crypto transform interface. I'll just call this um, trans, and we'll set it equal to um, TDS dot create uh, encryptor. And now we can use this uh, crypto transform uh, interface to uh, encrypt our data. So we're just going to say trans dot uh, transform final block and this method will do the actual encrypting. And the first parameter that it calls for is a byte array of the data that we want to encrypt. And so we're just going to say utf8 dot get bytes out of and then in this text box is where we're going to want to put whatever text that we want to encrypt. So this we just put text box use text right here. And the next parameter is the offset that we want to start at in the byte array and we want to encrypt the entire byte array. So we're going to start at the uh, first um, element. And the count or how many bytes inside of the byte array that we want to encrypt and that would be all of them. So we're just going to get the length of that byte array. So get bytes, text box, use text, and then just use the length property to get the length of the uh, byte array or how many bytes are actually in the byte array. And finally, we're going to set text box 3's text equal to the encrypted data. So we're just going to say text box 
threes text equals, and then we're just going to convert this into a string. So we're just going to use the bit converter class to convert this um, byte array into a string. So now we debug here. Type in our key. Just type in Adam. I'll encrypt I am Adam and click encrypt. And there it's encrypted. I am Adam, and this is the uh, encrypted representation of Adam using the Adam key. So if we were to change this key right here to something else like hello, then it would change the encrypted data. So without the key, we cannot decrypt it. And it's very important that you set the key equal to something that's hard to get so that someone wouldn't be able to brute force it very easily. And by brute force it, I mean just like continually guessing until they actually get it. So you'd probably want to set it equal to like a password or something harder to get. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on encrypting data. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into decrypting data. So see you guys.